Welcome to Wuppertal. We are on the Schwebermann, which is something that I wanted to do for a long, long time. This is the coolest place where one could actually hide the the whole journey. And this is exactly what I'm doing at the moment. I've got my iPhone there behind a lens curve. I'm using the Moment app to apply the motion blur uh, that merges the 30 frames into one frame every frame, really. So it produced some amazing results. We entered the Shrimp Farm in the middle and went one way. I've got a short journey time shot in high blast. Now we're coming from the end station to another last station and I'm hyperlapsing pretty much the whole journey. So I was just told that Wuppertal in Germany is the city that gets the most amount of rain. And look at the day that we've got here today. How lucky is that? And while you're watching this full end-to-end -end 1 minute and 12 second hyperlapse over 20 stations from Westwinkel to Oberbarmen, I will tell you more info about this hyperlapse. What you're watching is actually playing in reverse, as there's a driver in the front cabin, I could only sit and shoot this view going backwards, but I just prefer how it looks being played going forward. The entire trip takes about 29 minutes, so at one second interval it creates 1740 shots, hence on a 24p timeline it becomes 72 seconds. If you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button and help support my channel to be shown to more people that might like timelapse related content. While in the last minute of this video you can watch this hyperlapse going in the opposite direction, also in reverse going forward, and learn a few facts about this suspended monorail. station and now we're going back to the uh, city center and I'm time lapsing the other part of the journey too. Kids are absolutely loving the trip on their phones. Awesome. <laughs> Being the camera geek as I am with my phone shooting high flaps, I got my camera out to shoot the views from the windows that you can see when on the flying train as some call it, shooting video in real time above the river, over the bridges and the roads you're crossing. And while I'm showing you this quick video montage, you're probably wondering what are we doing in Wuppertal. Basically, we were traveling by car from London to Poland for the summer holiday of 2020 and decided to split the journey in half, hence we stayed in Wuppertal. But as we arrived really late at night, had the night's sleep, woke up early in the morning, got the chance to ride the sky train for a little bit there and back, and then by 2 o'clock we had to continue the journey. So I will definitely want to visit Wuppertal to experience explore all of its really cool architecture that I could see from the train window and some things that I know that are in Wuppertal but I never had a chance to visit that are slightly further away from the Schwebebahn. And this part of the track was probably my favorite, somehow flying on the, let's say, second floor level in between houses makes it look so cool, looks like you're in a capital city of a kind, yet you're in a, not so small but not also a big town of Wuppertal. However, for some that don't like the city parts, there were also elements of flying right through all the greenery above the river. River Wupper that runs underneath the Schwebe Bahn that seems to be so clean because we're in a mountain region that everyone seems to be going to just, yeah, uh, not swimming, but walking in the river. And this is exactly what my kids did too. Oh, I'm getting bored, I'm getting bored. Uh, yeah, don't, try not to. And just as expected, my son fell into the river and is now all wet. And how clean really is the river? Well, if you look hard enough, you can find these little lobsters, which means it's pretty clean. 
And after some fun and relaxation by the river, while also feeling as if we're in this futuristic movie with flying trains passing right above us, it was time to get back onto the last station and do the hype laps into the other direction. 3, 2, 1, go! And as promised earlier, here's a few facts about Wuppertal Schwebebahn. It is one of the world's rare remaining suspended monorails. The supporting steel frame and tracks are made out of 486 pillars and bridgework sections. The construction started in 1897 and the first track opened in 1901. And it is currently moving 25 million passengers annually. The Schwebebahn runs along a route of 13.3 kilometers, which is about 8.3 miles, at a height of about 8 to 12 meters, which is about 26 to 39 feet above the river Wuppa. The current fleet consists of 31 articulated 24 meter long cars. One carriage can seat 48 with approximately 130 standing passengers. The top speed is 60 km per hour, while the average speed is 27. And lastly, an interesting fact, there was quite a few accidents in the past 120 years, with the most famous one being a rather unnecessary PR stand going wrong when they had an elephant ride it to prove how strong and safe it is, and the elephant jumped out but thankfully survived. And as we're approaching the last station, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you did like the two hyperlapses and I didn't bore you too much with me talking and giving facts and details about the hyperlapse and Wuppertal. However, as you watch the video all the way to the end, I encourage you to check out one of my other recent videos about Dieseldorf, where amongst other things, I go and hyperlapse on the SkyTrain, which is a four-stop experience at the Dieseldorf airport. So I'll see you in the next video.